So, uh, welcome to another uh, Into the Infinity Verse, where I talk about uh, certain aspects of the shared fanfiction universe that is that is created by me and my friend Jason Forkies 2011. And today I'm going to be talking about uh, one group in particular, and that group in particular is none other than Cobra. Now, Cobra in here is of course from GI, of course from GI Joe, and we've made some changes in Cobra's continuity that. Um, we real uh, that Jason and I have really been expanding and building upon, and uh, just having a lot of fun with. Now, Cobra is essentially our equivalent to Hydra in the Infinity Verse. Um, they're the most dangerous of these different. There are other terrorist organizations in the Infinity Verse, su such as uh, Shadowloo, uh, Millennium. There's also the Red Bamboo, but Cobra. Is the is the major one? It is the top dog of all the organizations. Like a lot of the organizations do have a lot of power, but the thing is, is that Cobra is is the top dog. Co uh, Cobra is the top dog among all the other organizations um, because they've had they've had the longest time to amass the most power. They have the most weaponry. They have the most connections. Cobra is, like I said, the Hydra of our universe and has seeped its fingers into everything. It has seeped its fingers, it's it's put its coils around everything, as you might say. Now, in our continuity of the Infinity Verse, Cobra had revealed, didn't reveal itself until 2002, which was the same time in this continuity G.I. Joe was formed in 2002. But the thing is, is that also, yeah, 2002 was like, wow, really that late? Not necessarily. It is still like early, it's still the early 2000s. And only like a few, like 2002, like it's only been a few months after, you know, the 9-11 attacks. So the world is already rocked by terror, you know, by a major terrorist attack. And no, we're not saying Cobra did 9-11, but they, pi they picked that time when a world was so terrified and so scared of it, you know, of, of just everybody, like, you could be scared of your own neighbor, that's the time when Cobra decided to come out of the shadows and, you know, announce to the world, hey, we're Cobra, we didn't do that other attack that got you all scared, but you're scared now, so, ta-da, we're Cobra, we're gonna kill all of you, we're, we're here to rule the world, have a good day. So that was Cobra Commander's whole train of thought is that after those major, you know, after the 9-11 attacks, Cobra Commander decided now's the time to reveal ourselves. And they had been actually hiding in the shadows, building up their weaponry, finding scientists, getting mercenaries, getting everything they needed to come out of the shadows. All they needed was a beacon to come out of the shadows, and they picked that time to come out of the shadows, and that henceforth, um, the creation of G.I. Joe from then on. Anyway, so, like I said, Cobra's been around for a while. Cobra has been around, but in the shadows for a very long time. Because, you see, in this, you know, in this universe, Cobra actually is going to have some connection to another evil organization that in this, sto this storyline, in this universe's timeline, has, uh, is gone. It's defunct. It's been destroyed. Not gonna say which, but if you know your evil organizations, then you can probably guess who where this one came from. And Cobra is made from the ash, is forged from the ashes of that other organization, and even Cobra Commander has a connection to it, and that's where he got his foothold into getting amassing all of Co of Cobra's resources. Um, because yeah, he had connections, and there's still like a lot of stuff from that other organization that's long gone. Um, so Cobra Commander, like that was his jumping off point, and to get everything he needed to, you know, to build his own terrorist organization. So that's the whole story of Cobra. Now the other thing about this version of Cobra Commander is that it's not like the 80s cartoon of Cobra Commander. This Cobra Commander is more like the IDW universe co Cobra Commander, in that he's ruthless, he's terrifying, and he is, he commands respect. He's not like a bumbling, um, over-egotistical idiot. He is, he is terrifying when he walks into a room and speaks. Um, when he speaks, everyone shuts up and listens. Um, this is the, this is the type of Cobra Commander who killed his own, killed and skinned his own son and displayed it to all of his top lieutenants saying no one is safe. Yeah, that happened in the IDW comics. Yeah. So it's more, he's more akin to the IDW comics, 
Although I guess you'd say that, it, like, much like the G.I. Joe Resolute cartoon, or much like the G.I. Joe Renegade, he's scary, is what I'm saying. This Cobra Commander is downright terrifying. Now, like I said, Cobra Commander, uh, Cobra has kind of leaked its, uh, you know, put its coils into everything. It's pretty much constricted around a lot of governments, a lot of agencies, um, and even has connections to the League itself. There are actually... There's actually a member of the Infinity League who has a connection to indirect connection to one of Cobra's top lieutenants. So that will be revealed in an upcoming spotlight, actually. Um, but yeah, Co um, Cobra Command uh, Cobra also has been amassing something for something big, and yeah, that will be coming down the line. But for right now, uh, Cobra Commander. He's been amassing a lot of things. He's actually recovered. Cobra, in our continuity, has actually recovered the Dragon Zord. If you guys remember, um, Tommy had to send the Dragon Zord away after it had been controlled, and shortly before he lost his Green Ranger power. Um, so yeah, the Cobra command. Uh, so Cobra combed the oceans of Angel Grove until they found the Dragon Zord. And now are in possession of it. They can't get to work yet, but they got it, and they're gonna—they're trying to figure it out. So that's the—you know—that's the major thing that's going on is that they have possession of the Dragon Zord. They just gotta figure out how it works because they want obviously a weapon like that is gonna be a major uh, find for them. They also have been. Um, they also, like I said, have been just weeding their way and biding their time. And also, every other organization is like, yeah, Cobra, though. <laughs> um, we should probably wait to see what they think. Even, like, Bison, uh, the head of Shadaloo, M. Bison himself is like, ugh, my, I, could ki I wish I could just go out and kill Cobra Commander, but I can't because my resources in Shadaloo are nothing compared to his. So I literally cannot fight a war against Cobra without, you know, destroying Shadaloo. Um, so anyway, so that's kind of the thing, is that Cobra is just this domineering force that, okay, that rears its head every now and again to plague the Infinity League, to plague G.I. Joe, and yeah, you're going to be, we've been kind of like, um, it's kind of funny because in the Infinity Verse, we haven't really done a lot with Cobra until recently, mostly because... We've been, you know, we've wanted to tease Cobra, like, as, like, the monsters in the shadow. Like, they're all, everyone's, like, when you run against Cobra, you're running into a real fight. So that was the big thing with this, is that, yeah, they're running into a major, uh, conflict with the, uh, with the, with the powers that be, that being Cobra. So, yeah, don't worry, though, you will be seeing more of Cobra, like I said, in an upcoming spotlight, which is going to have some major revelations for one character, and um, from then on, you'll be seeing Co uh, more of Cobra pop up every now and again. And in fact, you're going to uh, also, like I said, or forgot to mention, I should say, is that Cobra now has a base in Roanapur, which is from Black Lagoon and is our universe's Mandrapore. So yeah, Cobra, uh, yeah, they now weeded their way into Roanapur. They're in good with Hotel Moscow. They're gearing up for something big, but I don't. I really don't want to spoil it as much as I. I really want to spoil it, but I can't at the same time. So you guys tell uh, tell us in the com in the comments below. What do you guys think of this version of Cobra in the Infinity Verse? Um, do you guys like it? Hate it? Uh, comment below. Let us know. Yeah, I've been meaning to talk about this one because yeah, there's just so much we're going to do with Cobra, but I can't spoil it at the same time. But anyway, uh, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.